are bringing back our education inspiration segment where we profile some of the great teachers that we have right here in Hawaii. And we've got a lot to choose from, but we start the thought that we'd start with the man chosen as the state teacher of the year, Kalani's Michael Ida. Oh uh, yeah, so this one is again, because it's circular, we gotta think about like the ring. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Michael Ida lives for these moments as his students grasp the concepts in his AP calculus class. It's a different looking class, more like a workshop. Each day, Ida separates students into groups, hands out complex word problems, and lets them work it out on their whiteboards together. This part here has units of gallons per hour, and this has units of T, of time. So if I had gallons per hour times hours, it would just be gallons. Yeah. Ida says he steps in to redirect his students as needed, but he's mostly a facilitator. They do the hard work. As you can see, like all the kids are participating. There's nobody kind of sitting on the side and everybody is contributing. So yeah, it's an amazing thing. Students calculate things like temperature changes, traffic flow and calories burned. And that's just on the day we visited. Dr. Ida makes us like every class we do like this group. Uh, so we always stand up, we collaborate with each other. And the problems that he gives us is usually like these word problems so that we can actually see the uh, like the real world applications. And I feel like that makes us more interested in calculus. As for his own education, Ida has a doctorate in applied mathematics from Northwestern University, a master's degree in secondary education from Boston College, and an undergraduate degree in applied mathematics from the California Institute of Technology. Now this is his 27th year teaching at Kalani High School, and he's taught in this same classroom the entire time. And in that time, Ida has helped some young minds achieve great things. They've gone on to the, you know, from the Ivy League to Stanford to uh, MIT, Caltech. They've gone, they've gone to all the great schools, but, you know, they've also raised families. They've had, you know, really successful careers. They've contributed back to the community. So they've done, you know, professionally and just personally, they've done some amazing things. In fact, some of his current students are children of his former students. As for the shirt and tie, Ida explains he originally started his teaching career in Boston. It's more of an expectation that you know, men teacher, male teachers will wear a shirt and tie. Uh, I had one, te one colleague who wore like a full three-piece suit kind of. <laughs> so yeah, so it was kind of the, more the expectation that male teachers dress this way. So when I came home and I was hired here, kind of just continued the habit. And you know, for me it works, I, you know, I feel, it feels like I'm making a change when I dress up for work, feel professional, so yeah, it, for me it worked. Even the hottest of days, yeah, yeah, yeah. And hey, it's working. Okay, nice. Yeah, I, I can't imagine the suit, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it looks good, it looks sharp. Uh, by the way, uh, Ida is also a candidate for National Teacher of the Year, and a winner for that is going to be chosen in the spring. It almost makes me want to take calculus. Yeah, almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe if we, we had a teacher like that, yes. it would be much different. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah.